Hey, what's going on, gang? And welcome back to the next episode of our Blood Mage walkthrough. Um, at this point, I just let me catch you all up as to what I did um, outside of my recording. Um, Alistair, I did swap over his armor set. I actually gave him the gloves, boots, and armor of diligence for that full set and the Griffin's Helm. Um, I took off his uh, Ring of the Warrior, as well as, I believe, I took off... Um, I took off a ring from Wynn. It only gave plus one magic. I think it's like the ring of study, I want to say. All the way, so that way we could give that stuff, ring of study, okay, it was right. Um, we could give this stuff to uh, Morgan. And uh, I ended up giving Morgan the blood dragon plate armor in addition to, I found, like I, I had the random encounter for uh, the star metal, or like the, the meteor uh, or that, um, like the random encounter that you can bring to uh, the Warden's Keep, or like Soldier's Peak, I think that's actually what it's called. Um, you'll go there, you can give the ore to uh, Levi, or Levi, 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 I can't remember his name. Damn it, I'm terrible with names. Uh, you can give it to his brother once you complete the DLC, and then the, the brother can forge either a two handed uh, sword or a single handed sword. And uh, I just decided to go with a single-handed sword. Um, I went ahead and <laughs> bought back Eamon Shield, just so that way I could give it to Morrigan. But overall, um, right now what you're looking at, the stats, it's because Morrigan does not have um, any of her buffs on, or like the sustained abilities. So uh, She actually turned into be like a really strong tank, to be completely honest. Um, like an off tank. So I'm not even sure if I'm going to need Alistair anymore. Um, as my main tank, to be completely honest. But uh, I figured what we could do next is that um, we could actually go after Morrigan's mom. Um, the last time that we actually talked to Morrigan, we gave her uh, Flemeth's Grimoire, which we found, I believe it was in the Circle Tower. We gave that to her. Morrigan deciphered it and then found out that um, Flemeth is able to, like, throw herself or her spirit into another uh, young spellcaster uh, and that's just how she's been preserving herself and that's just how she's been living for so long like she's just been possessing her daughters quote unquote daughters uh, possessing their bodies and basically be taking them over um, so I'll tell you what let's let's go after Flemeth and see if we can take her down uh, we can't take Morgan with us, so I can't exactly show her off as to like what her new and improved abilities are, or just like the new uh, shiny coat of paint I put on her. Uh, so I guess we'll take Alistair, Leliana, and obviously we'll take our we'll take Grandma, we'll take Grams with us for uh, the nice heels. Yes. Yes. Grandma and Leliana. All right, let's go back to Flemeth's hut. Right ahead. Oh, wolves. Okay. All right. Oh. Oh god. Is anybody even taking the bear? Besides the bear. Oh shit. That's another thing I forgot to say. So, um, right now, uh, Wind was able to level. Oh shit. Wind's getting destroyed. Uh, Wynn leveled up, and I actually ended up putting her, uh, the talent point into, uh, Haste, which is a sustained ability, and, uh, it's gonna help us pump out a lot more damage. And unfortunately, Haste just, <laughs> Haste just went off because Wynn died. Uh, but that's just gonna speed up our, our movement speed in addition to, like, our attack speed, so we're gonna be able just to pump out more DPS. Especially if I keep pumping up um, my attributes, uh, if I keep focusing on magic, um, my magic right directly ahead. contributes to my uh, my spell power. So the higher spell power you have, essentially, that's your. Uh, I think the it uses like that's what determines your combat damage. So you know we're going to be able to hit a lot harder in addition to our magic stat is uh, in place of of strength. Uh, so the higher the magic stat, the higher on chance we have to hit. 
So damn good stuff, and we're going to be able to <laughs> cut through them as if, uh, you know, hot knife through butter or whatever kind of saying you want to have. I'm not gonna lie. Now, after playing like the two previous episodes, especially with how our build's coming along, um, scary kind of good. But um, I'm really looking forward, actually, to getting to end game and just seeing just how much we can do uh, damage wise, how easy we can make it look on Nightmare. And the sign, by the way, says "Caution: Traps are laid for wolves," <laughs> and "Caution <laughs> or warning: Wolves frequent this area." Um, I don't know. I'm, I'm really. I've just been looking forward to getting back to making episodes, which is awesome. So I appreciate you all uh, experiencing this with me. But tell you what, let's save. Just because I, I don't want to die <laughs> from this, and holy shit, that's a lot of sustained abilities. All right, let's talk to Flynn. And so you return. Lovely Morrigan has at last found someone willing to dance to her tune. Such enchanting music she plays, wouldn't you say? Why dance at all? Why not sing? <laughs> what has Morrigan told you? Hmm? What little plan has she hatched this time? That she does. The question is, do you? Ah. But it is an old, old story. One that Flemeth has heard before, and even told. Let us skip right to the ending, shall we? Do you slay the old wretch as Morrigan bids, or does the tale take a different turn? I need Morrigan. I'm actually going to side with Morrigan, and we're going to have conflict here. Choice. There is power in choices, as there is in lies. I shall give you one of each. Morrigan wishes my grimoire. Take it as a trophy. Tell her I am slain. Nope. Shame. What will it be then? Now you die. It is a dance poor Flemeth knows well. Let us see if she remembers the steps. Come. She will earn what she takes. I'd have it no other way. Oh god, the magic. <laughs> Holy shit, shapeshifter. All right, let's get him. Um, summoning bear, cool. Alistair. Maybe I should right. turn off. Oh, shoot. I forgot. Wind, wind is hurt. Uh, I'll do lesser injuries. Whoa, wait. Why, why did I run back this way? No! Oh. By the way, yeah, I'm on Nightmare. I just want to verify. Okay. Yeah, here I <laughs> just... Damn, I even get to heal the heal the bear. That's awesome. Okay. Shit. Point me. No, I should not. No, don't don't do that. Don't use spells. I gotta make sure I don't use spells because I don't want to run out of mana completely. If I run out of mana completely, I think all of my sustained abilities that require mana. No, oh, I guess you my tactics too. Every 
time that I go. I am here. Okay. Here. Let's make this quick. All right. I was just doing a great job of keeping me to need to put when you need to do vessel with spirit. Here I am. I need you to and we did it. We took down Fleming. Die, shapeshifter. <laughs> Ugh. And we did it. Not bad. Only thing we get is Flemeth's key. Uh, <laughs> the only Success. thing it does, it unlocks the hut. And uh, <laughs> the chest inside. Moving on. So what we ended up picking up, we actually got a gift for Morgan. Um, you know, we're just going to end up basically giving her the real Grimoire. And then there's also an armor set, or just like a, a robes, uh, a set of robes that's actually just for Morgan. Uh, I You could put, you know, obviously put this on Morgan. That's perfectly fine. Uh, if you don't want to make her like an arcane warrior, but, you know, what I just decided to do, I think it'd be more beneficial for her. Especially if I ever decide to like mess around with her um, and um, have her shape shift into like a bear. Uh, just because you do end up taking, I believe, your armor rating and defense with you uh, when you shape shift. Uh, so <laughs> imagine like how, uh, how beefy she could be if she was transformed as a bear. Uh, good God. All right, cool. So we did that. Tell you what, let's go back to the party. Let's uh, let's give the actual grimoire to uh, Morgan. I await your command. Oh shit! Duh. Um. Mother's real grimoire, is it? I am glad you were able to find it after all. My thanks for retrieving it. I shall begin studying it immediately and unlock the power that it holds. Plus 14, dang. I await your command. At times, perhaps, a world full of people and buildings and things was all very foreign to me. If I wished companionship, I ran with the wolves and flew with the birds. If I spoke, it was to the trees. Sure, for a time, that's wonderful. But one can only remain a child for so long. I recall the first time I crept beyond the edge of the wilds. I did so in animal form, remaining in the shadows and watching these strange townsfolk from afar. I happened upon a noblewoman by her carriage, adorned in sparkling garments the likes of which I had never before seen. I was dazzled. This, to me, seemed what true wealth and beauty must be. I snuck up behind her and stole a hand mirror from the carriage. It was encrusted in gold and crystalline gemstones and I hugged it to my chest with delight as I sped back to the wilds. Flemeth was furious with me. I was a child and had not yet come into my full power, and I had risked discovery for the sake of a pretty bauble. To teach me a lesson, Flemeth took the mirror and smashed it upon the ground. I was heartbroken. And a foolish one. Flemeth was right to break me of my fascination. Beauty and love are fleeting and have no meaning. Survival has meaning. 
power has meaning. Without those lessons, I would not be here today, as difficult as they might have been. They did indeed. To return to your original question, perhaps my time in the wilds was indeed lonely, but such was how it had to be. I find myself at times wondering what might have become of the girl with the beautiful golden mirror, but such fantasies have no place in its reality. All right, after doing that, talking to Morgan, uh, I believe we could find, uh, I believe we could find um, a, a hand mirror, a handheld mirror for her as a gift. I just don't remember the exact vendor. Um, but uh, we're now actually going to head towards, uh, we're going to head towards the alienage. And um, I'm thinking that I might want to change things up a little bit. What I mean by that is, um, I think I'm still gonna take Win. I think I might take Win, um, but I know I want to take Stem. Yes. I want to take Morgan Indeed. with me. Uh, maybe Liliana or Ogren. Hmm. Nah, let's still bring. We'll still bring Win. Yes. Just because um, Sten, even though he does have a, he does have Devour because he's a Reaver, uh, I don't. Sometimes that ability is is really finicky. There's been times where an enemy was dead on the ground and I hit it, uh, and I thought they were dead long enough for me to like absorb their their essence or whatever for life. But I don't know. I, I seem to have always messed that up. All right, there we go. There is Morrigan. Wait, why didn't she put on? Also putting putting on arcane shield, um, and that should be good for now. Unless I also want to do frost weapons. Hmm, why not? Okay. Anyway. All right. So here's me. <laughs> here's Morrigan basically like a ghost um so she jumped up from i think she was only like at 60 something defense or 70 defense so now she's at 103 and uh her armor rating is 52 uh which holy crap that's awesome um so really morgan is just essentially gonna she is i don't think that's a high enough defense so i think she's just gonna take a little bit of damage just because she does have such a high armor rating and uh, looking at Sten, Sten really is lacking a lot. Um, let me put on all of his sustained. Yes. All right, that should be good. Yeah, okay. We'll go with that. Sure. Uh, indomitable. Yeah, I guess that's pretty much it. I mean, the only other things, let me just quick add self, any, and then activate that. Precise striking. Definitely want that. Gives him a bonus to attack, and since uh, Win now has haste, I think actually I think that's all I'm gonna need. Uh, now that Win has haste, uh, it's gonna help speed. There we go. It's gonna help speed up everything. So right now, uh, he has 82 defense, 29 armor rating, 104, 103 attack. Excuse me. Damn, I don't have like anything. Imagine like how much higher his attack would be if I had actually some good shit for him. But. All right, here we go. Now with uh, <laughs> this crew here, dear Lord. All right, let's go. Oh, shit, hang on. You can't go this way for the alienage. We haven't unlocked it yet. Magic exists to 
I don't know what we did, but we completed and something Optimus for the board. Got two more gold. Or two more sovereigns, whatever. There we go. Your people being thrifty by building this place from refuse. I'm assuming Sten was talking to me. You think we're so far beneath? Someone's coming. Get away from me, you crazy knife here! Dick. Please, what do you want from me? I'll go already. Jesus. All right, let's go in this guy's house, Syrians. It's you. Come in. I didn't thank you before, did I? I, I wish I could give you something. Everything I owned was lost to looters after the purge. Not that I had anything valuable to begin with. <laughs> You'll have to excuse me if I seem a little skeptical that a total stranger would break me out of prison for no reason. I, uh, dude, I just found you on the way. <laughs> I know you've already done a lot for me, but I have to ask, could you talk to Shiani? Please. I, I don't know what's going on here, but I know she's in over her head. Really? I don't know what to say. Thank you. Make her bless you. Ashley, can we steal from this guy? <laughs> Is there anything? Oh, okay. Official notice. Bearing arms is strictly prohibited. Elves who have swords will die in it. Will die upon them. Feral dog. It's like I'm being a really bad sightseer. Oh, Andraste's Grace. Would you look at that shit? Let's loot that. I was looking for that previous episodes. Oh, man. All right. Now we're actually going to be able to give that to Liliana. Um... There you go. Hang on. There was a site of power. There was something here that we were going to do for the Mages Collective. Come on. I just saw it. <laughs> Mystical site of power. There we go. We will go talk to Sir Otto um, after this. Uh, let's do some other things. I've got children at home. I can't wait out here for another day. So go home. The best thing you can do for your children is not trust these charlatans. Everyone remain calm. We will help as many as we can today, so long as we can do this in an orderly fashion. Oh, you're helping us, are you, Shem? Like Valendrian and my uncle Sirian, you helped them, didn't you? Help them never to be seen again. We've explained this to you before, girl. More whining will not persuade us to let you into the quarantine to carry plague back out to the alienage. Quit trying to get us all killed, Shiani. Some of us have still got things to live for. If this spell of theirs works, why are half the people they quarantine perfectly healthy? You must not be from around here. Wait. Soros told me about you. You're the one who freed him from the dungeons. These foreigners say they're here to help with our outbreak of plague. Funny thing, though. All the people they help disappear. That's not true, and you know it, Shiani. Both my sisters got the Tevinter spell cast on them, and they're fine. Where's your niece, then? And my uncle Sirian, and Valendrian? These men from Tevinter say their magic will prevent people from catching it. But it doesn't work if you're already ill. 
So they set up a quarantine. But many of the ones they quarantine aren't sick. One of them was our Hiren, Valendrian. And I don't know what we're going to do if we don't get him back. You can try. Those guards mean business. Now that we know, I guess, a little bit about what's going on, let's quick go back to, um, quick go back to his, this house and tell this dude that we talked to her. Did you talk to Shiani? What's going on? She said that to me as well, but it doesn't make any sense. Why would they lock people inside that house unless they had a reason? He is. I didn't realize that. No wonder she's upset. It's a miracle the alienage hasn't burned to the ground if he's gone. Thank you. Make her protect you. All right. Um, let's go talk and just see, I guess, what the guards say. Healer Varus. Let's go talk to this dude, see what he says. There is no need to push. We will work our spell for each person in... Viserion's mercy. How long have you been ill, woman? You should have come here days ago. Ooh, this is interesting. I've never done it this way. Oh, that's perfect. I'm going to fake a call. The rest of you must stay back. Only the sick are permitted inside. Come with us. Ooh, this is going to be perfect. I've never actually done it this way. I've always gotten into combat in here, so this is interesting. All right, but I am on my What's own. What's this? We've got another one. Wait, that's the one the regent's looking for. One of the Grey Wardens. Five sovereigns are the one who brings down the warden. I'm at least worth <laughs> at least worth ten. Right. Now this should be fun. Oh gosh. They're all doing like one damage, four, five, six. All right, that wasn't that bad. And I'm off. Ooh, I got stunned. All right. Tell you what, you know what? We're not dicking around here. We're gonna use blood magic. Going all right. Now this should be fun. Come on, stop missing. If you insist. Fucking hit him. Going. Yes. Alright. Alright, I'm game. How about you then? Oh, you wanna die? Oh look, it wants to fight. How about you then? I'm not digging around. I'm gonna shatter this mofo. If I can hit him. Boom. Saw sword. Saw sword. Imperial edge. Oh, that's cool. Hospice key. There we go. Bring eight males and six females for the next shipment. There's a pile of coins. The chest we can't get into. Uh, let's open up this door. Help us, please. We're not sick. Let us out of here. I swear not one of us is sick. They take the sick ones out as soon as they come in. Please, help us. All right. I'll let them Thank out. you, friend. I don't know, and I don't want to find out. We're leaving. Make her keep you. All right. Hmm. 
sucks that I don't have, obviously, I don't have Leliana in my party. I, that's the thing that sucks, man. I always feel like I have to have, like, oh. I have to use a rogue in my party, even though I, I can't always have the party that I just want to have for fun. It's sometimes just not practical if you don't have, like, all the different classes. Now, there was a guard at the back. Oh, shit. They're up front. They're up front. No, no, no. They're up front. Stop. Wait, what? The hell is that elf doing? Oh, that guy. He has a... But, ooh, okay. I wasn't expecting that. He had life ward on him, and uh, wind just used mana clash. <laughs> Uh, poor little guy. That should be it, right? Yeah, Morgan just cut him down. Healer Varus, Tevinter Enchanter's robes. Eh, average. Healer Serator, lesser Tevinter robe. And Tevinter Soldier with just gold. And a weird elf. <laughs> All right, but at least we got the the hospice key. And let's go into these apartments. What oh. is your wish, Kadan? I want you to move. You... That's my wish. Ten coppers for a dozen eggs. I say it's on account of the war. The chickens aren't going to war. You tell him, lady. What the hell was that? Oh, chest. I could see it through the door. Or, like, through the wall. Who's there? Stay away! I, I... I haven't seen nothing. Please, just leave me alone. All right. Uh, I saw them take everyone. Took them right out of their beds. Drag them down the hallways. Baker, the little one's crying. Through the landlord's old office. They go in there, they never come back. I saw him. They marched him through the hall with a bunch of others, all tied together like pack mules. Every few days, they come back. It's like a parade, a silent one. Men and women and children. You have to go. They'll be back soon. They'll find out I talked and they'll take me too. Please just go. Leave me to my dirt. <laughs> blood stain. There's just prints of blood. The broken vase. Dry blood and bits of hair cling to the broken edge of the vase. Chest that's locked. Sweet. Another saw sword. These chairs are arranged as though someone were just about to sit down to dinner. Toy doll. The stuffed toy is clear. Yeah. Okay. Chest. <laughs> Free sailor. Uh, sextant. That's um. That's for the mages collective. Oh no no! Actually, sorry. That was the chanter, like the chanter's board from the chantry. I can't get in there because we don't have a rogue. Uh, it's done naturally. But at least we can get to the outside. What's this? Another shipment already? Do we want? Wait, you're no to Vinter. Who are you supposed to be? What? No, you're not. There's no body relieving us until midnight. Quick, get them, hurry! <laughs> you mean that didn't work? Oh, I should have been like person who's really taking damage is actually weak. That sucks. Uh, 
Should have made her an, uh, an arcane warrior too. Get that blood splatter off. What is the meaning of this? We were told that there would be no interference from the authorities. No, you look like an elf with more curiosity than sense. You will regret this, you know. Believe it or not, we have been given dispensation to do our business here. The humans talk a great deal about how very wrong slavery is. But isn't it funny how quickly the smell of gold overcomes such ideals? Indeed. I'm intrigued enough to wonder what brought you here, if not to exact righteous retribution. You wish to parlay? You, an elf? Very well. I will leave it for Caladrius to decide your fate. Come with me, and be respectful if you know what's good for you. I hope there's a good explanation for this, Devira. There is, Enchanter. This intruder fought her way through the courtyard, but claims that she is not here to exact revenge. And thus you thought it best to bring the Grey Warden directly to me. Grey Warden? But I... Indeed, the talk of all Denerim. You should get outside a bit more, my dear. Speak with the locals. Well, what is done is done. Well met, Grey Warden. I am Caladrius, and I have heard a great deal about you and your friend. <laughs> then you should know to be frightened of me. I said respect. This is no minion you speak with. Now, now, is this how we begin? With bluster? I was hoping for civility. I've heard that you're trying to erode Logan's support. It must be a difficult task, yes, like washing away a mountain. Perhaps you could use some help. More of an arrangement, truth be told. One that disappears the moment angry armed intruders storm my abode. Truth be told, there was always a limit to how long we were going to be able to operate here. We've paid for many of Logain's troops, but once the land's meat is done, we become inconvenient. So, here is my offer. One hundred sovereigns from you for a letter with the seal of the Terran of Guaren upon it, implicating him in all of this. Then, we leave a few days earlier than planned with our profits and remaining slaves unharmed. Tis a reasonable enough starting offer. So, do we have a deal? Even you must admit it's much better than resorting to barbarism, mm. yes? I have a counter offer. Interesting. Uh, leave your the profits in the letter. Take your slaves and go. I might want to do that just so I can get some money. And to be honest, I don't really feel anything, especially with like this origin story of just being a mage. I don't really feel like any attachment to the Dalish. Uh, I've never really made that connection. I don't know. And he's a slaver and he's a blood mage. So I feel like this is the kind of people, this is what I'm going to end up turning into. Just more sinister as the playthrough goes on. Mm. No. No. I think you're not in a good enough position to make such threats. Let's do this the hard way, then. Men, shall we? Be wary. An enemy ah, lies ahead. Let's wipe them out quickly. Yes. What?
Oh, it is in the right spot. Yeah, okay, cool. What? I only hit one of them, but damn, I hit that guy hard. And somehow... Alert. <laughs> it is done. Yes. Did I miss? Oh my god. Oh my god. Sten, big man, went down Correctly. so quick. Holy shit. What the, f what the hell happened over here? Oh my god, he's actually just sacrificing his allies. Holy shit. That's what he's doing. He's sacrificing his allies. I've never done this. I think I've always taken him out fast enough. have any more I don't have any more uh yes I am your any more lyrium potions and I'm off all right another battle I see Oh, thank God I got him in that. Quick. He's almost dead. Come on, Morgan. Try to be more careful in the Enough! Enough! It seems your reputation is an accurate one. I surrender. Were I to use the life force of the remaining slaves here, I could augment your physical health a great deal. Allow me to leave this place alive, and I would be more than happy to do this little service for you. Hmm. An interesting offer, if a tad messy. Little service. He is talking of blood magic. Surely you would not consider such a thing. At the expense of these poor people, they are innocents. So, this is what we resort to. How very sad. Uh, so, is my offer of interest to you, yes? Yes, it a is. A prudent choice, even if such foul magic must be involved. Then, allow me to gather my strength. Uh, you may feel a moment of, of dizziness. And we're done. Now I will go, quickly. Minus 40, dear lord. Ouch, okay, I didn't, th I didn't think Wynn would hate it that much, but I was clearly yeah. wrong. All right, whatever. I'm pretty sure I just got a bonus to my constitution. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's all I got. So, a little bit more health, especially because I'm a blood mage, you know. Um, figure that can't hurt. There's a lot. I think there's a lot of money in there. I gotta come back here uh, with <laughs> Devera. Bow of the Golden Sun. Cool. 
Uh, I need to, though, I do need to come back here um, with Leliana, so at least I can pick that lock. Is she on you around here? I guess not. I was just gonna come back and like kind of tell Shiani. I just want to see like, can I lie to her and be like, yeah, I couldn't get there in time. Did you talk to Shiani? All right, I don't know where Shiani's at, unless you're just always gonna say that. I think <laughs> she is nowhere to be found. I don't think I've ever seen you before. Are you from High Ever, Redcliffe? Welcome to Denarim. Uh, a few odds and ends. Just don't mention them to the guards, would you? Staff of the Ephemeral Order? That's interesting. Plus three willpower, plus 5% uh, spirit damage. That's actually a pretty good sword. Bow of the Golden Sun, plus 6 attack, plus 10% of the healing effects received. That's probably bugged, and I'm just going to get rid of it. The robes of possession, they look exactly like the normal clothing um, that Morgan actually wears. Tome of Skill and Sundry. Do I really need to do that? I don't think I need to do that. While we're here, let's go talk to Sir Otto. Is someone there? Make us blessing to you, child. Be not afraid. I still have some sight to see you by. It is a pleasure to make your acquaintance. I am Sir Otto. I am a Templar. I lost my sight in a battle with a powerful Malifica. He called flame from the air and burned my face. The scars have healed, but my sight will never recover. In my time in the alienage, I've come to feel there is something sinister at work here. What exactly, I know not. It took patience, but some elves opened up to me, and I've heard their sad tales. But I found no real evidence to support my fears. Ears alone have done all they can. I was hoping you could be my eyes. Look around the alienage for anything out of the ordinary. I don't know. I have a feeling that there is something to be found, though. You seem capable. I have hope that you will find what I seek. Make her watch over you, child. How do I seem capable if you've said like you can barely see or like you can't see? You can't tell that. The house has eyes. You're not one of the bad men, are you? I just want to make Grandma happy. I never met her, and she protected me. But I lost her amulet. Grandma, make the voices go away. Everything and nothing. They thirst for blood, more blood. The bad men in the house. The housemen, they came the night of shouting. All of us orphans were in there. Then the blood. Oh, the blood. Still bleeding. Poor animals. Poor us. No, sir. No, sir, indeed. Don't go into the orphanage. 
The bad men will take you too. What have you found? The riot took its toll not only on the body, but on the mind as well. I know of whom you speak, although she opened up more to you than me, and her poor orphanage. A sad tale, that. Did you find anything else? There's been no fighting in the alienage recently, which means the blood is not congealing. I suppose there could be some explanation for it. Hmm. That's by the orphanage, right? A sad place. Did you find anything else? I'll report that at once. I've heard such afflictions can spread, even from a corpse. I suppose someone may not have known that. One odd thing I am willing to believe, but two is no coincidence. Let's head to the orphanage. Both of your clues were near there. feeling is intense here. This is the right place. I know not if it's the work of the Maleficarum, but there is definitely evil here. You go first. I will follow. It's dark. Hmm. It's, it shows that there's, you know, enemies there. Yes. One, two, there for three. Three, four, the king of them all. Eight, nine, and now you die. <laughs> Be wary. Bring it on. Ow, oh, mother. Ha, out. Home run. You must have victory. Mm. I I missed that one, Shane. As you wish. Boom. Let's finish this. Please heal him. <laughs> Please heal him. Thank you. I was like, come on, don't let my guy die again. Charred corpse, the lesser injury kit. Grave silver bowl. This. This is the center of it. <laughs> 
you do not belong here. Blessed be the Maker and his prophet Andraste. Your pathetic Maker is nothing compared to my glory. I command you, show yourself, demon. Hide in the shadows no more. You dare to command me? Let us see if your precious Maker can protect you now, worm! Oh my gosh, this seems like such a shit show. Nothing but auto attacks everywhere. Another point for you me. <laughs> At one time I considered myself quite the warrior, but you accomplished here what I never could. But something still isn't right. I feel there is more to this. Nearby. The building next to us. I can feel it. Just on the other side of this wall. Let us go. Oh, at least I don't want to go. Damn it, I really should have brought Liliana. <laughs> Christ. Time for more practice. Behind me. Oh, this should be good. Alright, there's oh man, just looking on the map. There's gonna be a lot of people there. Spirits. Yes. Now we get our hands dirty. <laughs> oh right. I'm with you, Stan. I'm with you. Now this should be fun. Don't worry, bud, I'm with you. We'll be good. Yes. Oh, right. And I'm off. Going. Yes, and I'm off. Oh my god, this is this is such a clusterfuck. What in the hell? or health? Damn, they died really quick. Nothing in the rubble. Alright. You think you are safe? Though the golden city has fallen, I have seen your face and your light. I am your... Save your pedantic chant for your sermon, Templar. You have killed my brood. The Maker compelled you. Show yourself. The Maker. There is no maker. There is no gold in this city. But there are demons. Yes. I hear not your blasphemy. By Andraste and all the divine after her, I order you to face me. You delusional fool. Huh. <laughs> 
We have done it again. I feel the darkness receding. I have seen the work of demon before. Some Maleficarum consort with them. But the Maker must have guided... Whoa. See if we can outburst him. Come on. Yes, we did. We outburst the uh the boys. Like my life's work is finally complete. <laughs> it's finally complete. Poor guy. That sucks. I am ready. Are you? Took a nasty fall there, bud. <laughs> Are you sure? You don't want to sit down for a minute. All right. Now that we're done with the alienage, uh, basically I don't think there's anything else we can do. But I, I do want to. Like quickly switch out my party. Uh, I do want to have Leliana with me. I do want to pick that um that lock that was in the uh, that was near the uh, the back end of the apartments where we made a deal with that slaver. I don't know if there would be any good documents in there. Oh yeah. Hang on. While we're here. Liliana, remember? We got her the Andraste's Grace. Oh, how dear of you. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Major cunning. Okay. Uh also let's quick talk to Morgan and then we'll head back out to the uh to the alienage. See if Morgan found any good, juicy stuff from that uh, grimoire. I await your command. All right, cool. Cool, cool. Thought you'd tell me it by now. <laughs> Guess not. Alistair? Something you need, my dear? Of course. Have you seen the uniform? It's not only stylish, but well made. I'm a sucker for good tailoring. Oh, you aren't kidding. I think the Templar uniforms are as colorful as they are, just so the Templars didn't feel dull in comparison. Last thing you want when you're about to take down some Maleficar out in the woods is to have him point and laugh at your taste in clothing, am I right? I'd use my shield if I could, but I think you might actually spot me hiding behind it. You don't really want to know about my being a Templar, do you? It's really quite boring. You know, I like the way you think. But I guess if you're really curious, there's no harm in obliging. I have a couple of interesting looking moles I can show you later too, if you're interested. The truth <laughs> of the matter the is fuck? that I did hate going to the monastery. The initiates from poor families thought I put on airs, while the noble ones called me a bastard and ignored me. I felt like Al Uman had cast me off, unwanted, and I was determined to be bitter. But I took some solace in the training itself, I guess. I was actually quite good at it. Using the abilities I have came after years of education and discipline that was difficult to achieve, if rewarding. The sword training and religious doctrine all came later. I never really felt at home anywhere, though. 
until I joined the Grey Wardens. And Duncan felt my Templar abilities might be useful for when we encountered Darkspawn magic, so I kept it up. What about you? Do you have anywhere you consider home? Really? <laughs> I... I guess I like the sound of that. We won't always be traveling like this, you know. Once the war is over, once the blight is... Well, a time will come when we'll have to think about having a real home again. Though that seems like a far ways off. And I suppose the Grey Wardens are gone for good either way. I suppose you're right. We can create new Grey Wardens, but we'll never get back those we lost. I wonder if it would ever feel the same. Anyhow, now I've sidetracked us. We'd better get back to what we're supposed to be doing right now. Indeed. Yes. Man, I wonder actually how much uh, approval I would have lost um, if Leliana was with me and uh, when I had done, uh, like, taken the deal from that slaver. <laughs> I lost 40, dear lord, 40 from, uh, from Wynn. But one word. Let's turn in. Yep. I await oh. your command. I don't know why my character spun around real quick. Um, Chanter Rosamond. And off. We get some gold. That was for the free, um, the sailor sextant that we found in the alienage. All right, let's talk to the mage collective. The client is very, very pleased. Got some gold. Right on. All right, let's go to the alienage. Um, We'll loot as much as we can, and then we actually did both of the required um, required quests in order to, you know, uh, set up the lands meet. We rescued Queen Honora. In addition to, uh, we just resolved conflict within the alienage, despite <laughs> our resolution wasn't exactly all, uh, you know, sunshine and rainbows. I think there was at least one chess in here. Yeah, there you are. Ow! I thought it was just going to be more money. I'm like, come on, baby. Actually, tell you what. So I think I'm gonna end the episode once um I fin finished. Once I'm done here in the alienage, uh, I do want to go back to just like the regular area uh, within Denerim, just like the main city. Um, just because there's a couple nobles. There we go. We unlocked the door. There's a couple nobles that I want to talk to that um, we had met them and or like we had uh, found one of the nobles' son who was uh, being tortured. And we're going to see if we can convince as many of the nobles we can by the deeds that we had done, as well as just our stance on how things are uh, to side with us during the lands meet. And I'm off. Tisk tisk. Excellent. What's next? What now? I await Damn your it. command. Oh, I'm trying to loot the elf guard. There we go. Trap 
right ahead. Trap right ahead. Right oh. <laughs> Whatever. Uh, it doesn't matter too much. Obviously, that would have sucked if uh, <laughs> those enemies were at the end of the hallway and I had just uh, activated or set off that trap. All right, where? There you are. What's next? Ah, oh, damn it! I clicked too fast. No, no. <laughs> damn it. No, I think we did get the crossbow. I think it was a soldier's heavy helm, and I think we just got a little bit of money. Um, all right, uh, but while we're here, let's just make sure. Denerim. All right, so I did recover evidence from Caladrius, Kal uh, the Tevinter Slaver. So I need to deliver this to Ban Alstana. Uh, Sig Hard, I need to go do that. Mama said you'd bring me a present from High Ever. I wonder what it'll be. Mama never came back from High Ever. What's taking her so long? There's nobody to play with me. There's nobody to play with me. Sorry, kiddo. Uh, we don't need to go that way. It did say, though, that I need to go to the Pearl. Uh, I saw. I read that part of my journal. Uh, I can't believe actually I didn't go to the pearl. I didn't do any of that stuff. Um, usually I'll take care of something. Like I was saying previously, I usually will take care of like a couple, um, a couple of these things in the city of Denerim. Not until this late, but. Eh, I wanted a sim. Good games, Isabella. We want our That's money. That's Sam Kailon sent you, right? I think you forget who there you are speaking to. There. I will give you a chance to leave right quietly. If you're here you brave and hussy. Someone needs to put you in your place. How about you? Nothing to see here. <laughs> She's too good. Be off with yes. Now. What? Is it customary you where you're from to give complete strangers questioning looks? Isabella. If you had spent any time here or on the docks, you would know. Isabella commands the crew on the siren's call. She is a remarkable woman, and as you saw, quite formidable. She calls herself a duelist, but you cannot pay me enough to duel her. I'm not so stupid as those two. You should ask Isabella. I do not know how to explain. They call me Casavir. I'm first mate on Captain Isabella's ship. More than this, you do not need to know. You are surprised to see another strong woman like yourself. Isabella, come, she calls herself a duelist. <laughs> Fool. Ah, the Grey Warden. When I had heard that all the Ferelden Wardens were killed or exiled from this place. Oh, don't look so surprised. I've seen many of your kind in my journeys, and there is always something odd about you but grey warden or no it is refreshing to see another woman who answers to no one now what can i do for you my dear i assume you saw that little drama and none of these poor brutes has ever proven a match for me they are too clumsy and predictable 
I fight with quickness and wit, rather than with brute force and strength. I call myself a duelist because I honed my skills in duels with warriors I encountered over the years. As I said, it is better to avoid being hit, and it is best not to get into fights at all. All right, I can see you're busy. All right, you can actually talk to Isabella, um, and I think you can convince her to give you the duelist specialization. But we just found out that she was a ship captain um, on the Siren's Call, as well as this guy over here, uh, Casavir, and he is uh, her first mate. But these White Falcon veterans, um, or these White Falcons, this was actually given to us by Sergeant Kylan, or I think. Uh, he was just one of the main guards that was in the main, like uh, within the the city of Denerim, just giving us jobs to do. Turn around and walk, stranger. This affair is for White Falcons only. Get a load of this guard. You're telling us what to do. Uh, you have a point there. Man, let's clear out. Don't, don't want to get on Hokane's bad side, do we? Tell Kylon I owe him one. Like I had... Ooh, hang on. Something I can help with? No. Not happening. Not possible to pick. All right. Uh, also, I had told you I had picked up uh, the uh, the crow's quest line. Like I was just presented with the Master Ignacio. I'm gonna have to talk to him. He is oh, also I could, I could in Denerim. Thanks. I think I need done. to go hide somewhere. And we can quick finish out that uh, that quest line. Think so. Here in the Pearl, there was actually um, a poster before you would go into the alienage, and uh, just make sure to read that poster. It'll say something about like the Grey Wardens, um, and then it'll say like the Griffins will rise again at the very end uh, of like the poster. So that's just what the password is. But these people are going to be here to set you up, at least from what I remember. Hayden, that's a warden. Listen, all we done is on the account of all how. The all you done in. I guess if you would have done this and came here before, uh, you would have been attacked on site. But because we killed Arl Howe, uh, these folks aren't going to just attack us on site. Nothing. We just chose the wrong side. Now, if you'll excuse us. Hayden. The Warden has returned. Good eyes. Dang. I kind of wanted to fight them. Alright, well. I can't fight them, at least right now. Okay, we got everything that we needed to, at least from, uh, from the Pearl. So let's go... Just to the Market District. Oh, damn it. I was hoping I'd find you. I heard about the Pearl. I don't know how, but you got them to leave with no fuss at all. The Pearl's workers will... Nobody gives orders to my men but me. A little lesson in respect is in order. I see. Don't bother sparing these louts. Things are about to get messy. Ha! Let's wipe them out quickly. Going up. Holy shit. So many numbers popping up. I feel like I haven't. There you go. I was like, I feel like I haven't landed a single thing of damage. And I'm off. Come back here. <laughs> you can't run forever. Yes. 
There you go, Morgan. And people actually voluntarily attack you. Are they just stupid? Here's the payment I promised. I might have more work if you're interested. But I'm heading back to the market district. Back alleys are just too dangerous for me. I don't even know how to pronounce that. Aod? No idea. Uh, let's keep going, though. I still just want to go to the market district. We, we will go to... Uh, uh, let's go into the pub. Just because that's actually where... Uh, where we'll start the uh, Trial of the Crows. Also, let's go to this dump site here. Let's drop this off. Dump the bag. I dumped one off uh, off recording. Uh, I found it. It was in, uh, it was actually in the, where, uh, damn it. It was the Grey Warden's, uh, the vault. That's where I found that other one. I don't really know if I want to do this. Good to see you back. I've got complaints in the Norden. Nothing oh. violent has happened. The cells. Okay, we're gonna just. Yeah. All right. The Nod Noble Tavern. That's the tavern that we're gonna go into now. It's just gonna be like the Crimson Ores. Uh, it's just a bunch of mercenaries that are in the back. Um, we can just, you know, persuade them to leave. That's Have fine. I don't feel like about how? killing them. Everyone in the city has. Ryland must be pleased. That half blood is as cold as the mountains. Did they not serve together in the war? There you go. Here's the Crimson Ore. This is the mercenary. What are you looking at? We're the Crimson Ores. Oh, you're threatening us. We're veterans of many battles. Who are you? Hmm? No, I'm going to attack. Ah. Be wary. Huh. Another battle I see. I want to be the one that who kills this guy. <laughs> yep. Oh, decapitation too. That's what you get, you piece of crap. Dear Lord. Oh, it's a massacre. Mmm. Make us blessings upon, upon you, Warden. All right, no other quests. But all right, cool. Took that down. Let's uh, talk to the bartender. What can I get you, stranger? Throwing the uh, the bodies into the well. I was wrong. It's actually not the Blackstone Irregulars. It's um it's actually for like the unsavory business or the shady business that you can uh, help the bartender out with. But here's Ban Alstana, the sister to the Templar we found. May I help you? This is Ermanrix. Explain yourself. My brother would no more part with this ring than with his head. Loghain? What does my brother have to do with him? A dungeon? What? No. I will go to him at once. Someone will answer for this. Take this with my thanks. It has been in my family since the War of Crowns, crafted for us by the Circle of Magi. An heirloom is a small thing compared to my brother's life. Spirit Ward. Plus 10 Spirit Resistance. Uh, yeah, we don't need that. Alright, but at least we told somebody. We uh, we found his sister. Now let's go talk to Sieghard. This is actually the father of that noble <laughs> that was uh, being tortured, that young man. Whoever you are, I... Wait. 
I know you. My son described you in great detail. He tells me that I owe you his life. When I saw my poor boy's legs, I only wish how still lived that I might tear him apart myself. I would bring troops against his son. But Oswin tells me Thomas had no part in his father's depravity. Is there anything you would ask as a reward for saving Oswin? All I want is for you to speak out against Loghain. Thank you again. Know that I will stand behind you at the lands meet with all the support I can muster. In fact, I am taking my supper today with Van Reginelder of the White River Benorn. I'll speak with her about this at once. Wonderful. Another one. I suppose you're here to ask for a donation too. West Hills Arling belongs to the Darkspawn now, girl. Perhaps they're interested in giving sovereigns to the Chantry, feeding orphans, clothing idiots, or whatever it is you want. Well, I can see how you might miss it. All of Southern Ferelden covered by black clouds, the ground rotting beneath your feet, plagues and darkspawn raids going on until even the crows get sick of the smell of carrion. What's a little trifle like that when compared to the important troubles here in Denerin? There's no point talking. That didn't go how I thought it would, um, but clearly he feels like he's been given the shit end of the stick. There you are, let's talk to him. You hear about a note? Maybe we have some things we can talk about. You are of great interest to me. Curiosity. Perhaps some intelligence. Who do you blame for a death? The sword or the swordsman? Crows are swords, instruments used by someone else for their own reasons. So one of our swords is hired out. He and his employees will do their job or die trying, but the crows as a whole have no bias. Ferelden is a busy place. Blight, civil war, other mayhem. Lots of people not getting along. Sometimes they really don't get along. Maybe want to do something about it. The people that handle that sort of thing can get real busy. You could say that. Not many people we can turn to. So, someone that's crossed our path and lived, well, maybe they could help out. Make some coin. Everyone wins. I hand you a scroll. You read it, you learn about someone interesting. If you find out something happens to him, something unfortunate, then, if we talk again, I give you money for letting me know. <laughs> I don't like the sound of this. You don't like what's on the scroll? Don't do anything. Maybe he has an accident and someone else tells me all about it. There you go. Makes for fine reading. If that's all, luck be to you. <laughs> Breaking Grandma's heart. Alright, we'll do the um, the assassination quest line probably in the next episode. Uh, but now I wanted to go back and uh, let's go talk to Arl. Um, Arl. Dwarven craft. God, why am I going to bring for Enan? Dear Lord. Oh, I need to go talk to Sergeant Kylan. Sorry, Dwarven sorry. Craft. <laughs> Find craft. Let's go talk to Sergeant Kylan. We'll go back to Arl Eamon's estate um, here Edwina at Denerim. Okay, let's just get our money. All right, there we go. Let's just go talk to him. Basically, just letting him know, um, just letting him know that we are uh, we're ready to go for the lands meet. Good day. Okay, this uh, is an Orlesian vendor. Yeah. Oh shit. I think she is sells it, something or like it. perhaps you tire of the smells of the city and people. Perhaps you seek the arm of Smith Wade. Or not. Okay. I thought she sold stuff. Hmm. Guess not.
kind of funny that now that I'm back inside and I don't have Wind's buff of haste, I was like, why the hell is my guy walking so slow? <laughs> it seems so dumb. All right, let's quick save. Deep in the wilds, we'll override that. Let's talk to uh, Arl Eamon. Ah, there you are. I was about to send out a search party. I have been hearing of a great commotion in the alienage. What exactly happened there? Make her forgive me. I should be appalled that such a thing could exist here. But I'm overjoyed you can implicate Loge. We must end the civil war quickly. What the blight does not corrupt in this land, politics surely will. The last of our allies have arrived in the city. We cannot delay any longer. I will call for the landsmeet to convene. Bring Alistair and join me at the palace as soon as you are ready, Warden. Dun dun dun. All right, the moment we have been waiting for is about to be upon us, friends. So I'm going to end the episode here, and we're actually just going to go ahead and pick up. Uh, in the next episode, I, I figured I should probably go ahead and do the crow, like the assassinations, uh, at least that quest line first, then we'll go ahead and uh, we will actually officially begin the lands meet. It's finally coming to a head now, and uh, I can't wait to share it with you. So as always, I appreciate you all watching, and I'll see you in the next video. All right, take care, friends. Bye-bye.